Welcome my friends of Maps in Motion. Today we're going to use GLIRS.app to create a branded map of Barcelona and animate it in a couple of minutes. We're going to start by creating a new project. We're going to call this Barcelona and we're going to create our own color scheme. So we're going to add a primary color and by clicking it we can simply pick a color from our website. Once we have picked primary colors, GLIRS will also give us matching colors to the scheme. So all in all, I only want five colors, so I click the little minus here, and I would like to have an additional green. You can though jump around here and um, have a look at the suggestions. So I like this guy, so I'm gonna select this color scheme, and immediately GLIRS will try to uh, create base maps for you, and it will try to create label styles for you. I know that we're using Open Sans on this website, so I'm gonna select a different font. I'm gonna select this because I like the really simple labels. And on a site here, you can have a look how these labels look on your base map. And you can even like zoom in and directly see how the base map will look wherever you are. I'm gonna make this a bit more light, a bit more subtle. The more subtle your base map is, the more poppy the labels will be or the highlights that we're gonna create on the map will be. I like the style so far, so I'm gonna hit create project. We need two viewports. We need some default viewport that's gonna be like an overview of Europe. And we of course gonna need a Barcelona viewport. First, I'm gonna place my playhead somewhere where there is no timeline item, and I'm gonna frame up Europe here. Then I'm gonna place my playhead where this viewport item is that has been created by default, and I'm gonna type in Barcelona. When you hover over the search results, you get some quick actions. So I'm gonna click Add to Timeline, and I wanna click Fit View. So now the viewport at my playhead position has been fitted, and we have added Barcelona to our timeline. I can immediately play back our animation. This zoom in is a bit too fast for me, so we can simply drag out the transition duration here to make it like two seconds and the transition out to like around about one second. And if I play it back again, we have a nice zoom to Barcelona. When you add the feature to your timeline, GLayers uses the style that is selected up here but you can of course change it afterwards. So for the layer, simply select this style picker and now we can choose a different style and you can also directly edit it. Then I'm gonna hit apply and Barcelona is highlighted in yellow. The same goes for labels. The one that is selected up here is gonna be used by default. So I'm gonna select the yellow one. With that one selected, I'm gonna hover over my layer and I'm gonna create a label from this feature layer. Now, all we need to do is adjust the timing of these items and we've got our final looping animation. Apart from exporting this animation in various formats, you can also create snapshots. So directly from the timeline view, you can click the little snapshot button up here. And from there, you could either share a file or you can copy this snapshot to clipboard and simply paste it in an email or anywhere else. Last but not least, I'm gonna deselect all the labels and create a project snapshot. Then I upload this project to have it available on every machine simply by browsing to glayers.app.